brothers. Yeah, yeah, brothers. I know. People get at me outside of this conversation and go, Why you going in on Karen's a lot, man? You want to know why, man? It's because of the universal erratic female nature, especially of the Western type. And look, the instamatic or ADHD version of what I described as the WW, because I ain't going to say it in full, and they are between the ages of 28 and 68. Okay, true. You're good so far. You're in the ballpark in, as far as the age group goes. But damn, they could be a person of any color before 28 and after 68. And it, let's take a good look at this meme I got up here for you. Now, I know you get it, so I got a little something, you know, just a little piece I want to share with you. So, today, at the job, I'm in the, I'm in my store, you know what I'm saying? And I get a lot of carriage, you hear me? If you watch a lot of these videos circulating lately about the Karens and all that, then you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I give you a hint. Just a little hint in this description so that you got the picture. My title is usually the guy that they call when these Karens pipe off at the mouth. You know what it is, fam. Typical day, right? Regular ass truck day. Just doing my thing. Two hours into the shift and this Karen got at one of my associates, right? You gotta excuse the background noise, man. Kind of a little party around the holidays, you know what I'm saying? So, typical day. Regular truck day. Just doing my thing. I mean, two hours into this shit, this Karen got at one of my associates, and he was trying to complete a sales transaction. A sales transaction with a sale on it. You know what I'm saying? But this lady was trying to mix and match her way out of a sale that did not work. And she was being irrational to him. He was right for saying that he had to honor the sale. Painfully correct. The reason why I said painfully correct is because I wanted to side with him. I wanted to side with him. But then again, in my role, I wanted to see what it would look like if I could de-escalate and defuse the ticking time bomb. That was her self-entitled ass. Okay? I wanted to see her full self-entitlement. The self-entitlement at full display. Now, this bitch was scrambling across the store, raising her voice. But at this time, I saw that she was trying to show me what would the discount was, right? And at the moment I saw it, I knew it was a sham. Come on, man. It's cool, brothers. I get it. I wanted to drop the hammer right there. Right then and there on But then again, I wanted to see what it would look like if I de-escalated that whole situation. I wanted to see what would happen if I did that. So I told this bitch everything she wanted to hear and processed the discount. Blue pill, right? Yeah, it's fucked up. Don't it make your red pill blue? It's cool, brothers. I get it. Wrong move. Yeah, I, I agree with you. That was the wrong move to go there. But what came next was a look of guilt that confused everybody but me. And I knew it was fake. And it didn't harm me. So I chalked it up to her having a caring moment. And I basically paid the bitch to get out my life. And I told my associate, she knew she fucked up. And she won't try it again. Because normally, I wouldn't let this slide. And I normally be the asshole in moments like this. But, at worst, I took an L. Yet, at best, she'll try it again with me or my associates and get her heart broken. <laughs> Yeah, man. Icky heartbreak. Yeah, now she'll get her heart broke. Trying to do some dumbass shit like that. Now, the silly thing about all of that, I was trying to avoid Karen's all day. I was expecting one. See, that was a good thing. I was expecting one to happen, and I noticed that overly, that that social clinginess. 
some of that getting out of your shell type of summer shit because you were sitting in your house for a long damn time, had the mask on your face, all that good shit. Now, you know how you talk to me about guys that holler at females that, you know, that are e-thoughts? Well, it was like that to me. See, these Karens were trying to create, they were trying to make a situation by hovering around me to get attention, as if they were orbiting a planet to create a dramatic situation. And this was happening all fucking day. Now, thank goodness, I was not in my usual overly bad mood like I normally am at the job. Wrong move. Fuck yeah, it was a wrong move. Come on, man. Let's keep it real. Wrong move. But, I wanted to see how they act. It was a little experiment into the Karen moment. I mean, yo, maybe it was, you know, me going down the rabbit hole. I don't know. But, bro, if it ever happens, yeah, it's gonna happen, all right. And uh, be aware of something like that, man. All right? Peace, gentlemen.